What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm John the Video Guy and in this Premiere Pro tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys one of the best ways that you can use to remove green screen from your footage. Now I recently worked on a project where I had to remove green screen from a lot of videos and put in you know background videos underneath them and I learned a few things along the way so I wanted to pass along some of the quick tips that I learned that you can use within your own project. Now I'm inside Adobe Premiere Pro and I have a footage of a person in front of a green screen. And if we hide this layer, I want to put her in front of a corporate background. So one of the first things I learned is before you even apply a key effect to your footage, a good idea is to really color correct and create some nice contrast between the green and the subject. So to do that, we're going to use the Lumetri color panel. And to get to that, we're going to change our workspace to color. Then click on your footage. And the first thing you'll want to go into is basic color correction. And you'll bring up Lumetri Scopes by just hitting the drop down, go to Lumetri Scopes, and it'll be displayed right here. And the first thing we'll do is we'll just crank the exposure a little bit. We'll bring up the contrast. We'll bring up the highlights a little bit. We'll bring down the shadows. We'll bring down the black points a little bit. And if you want to learn a little bit more about color correction, I did make tutorials on that. One will be in the top right corner if you want to watch that later. One other thing that we'll want to do is maybe punch the green a little bit more in the saturation category. So go down to curves and scroll down and we'll go to hue versus sat. And what we'll do is actually make points around the green and then we'll bring up the green. So you notice that it's getting a lot more saturated. When we uncheck that and check it, you can see it's a little bit more saturated and the reason we want to do this is we want to make sure the keying effect really has a solid green color that it can really attach to and key out. So now that we have our color corrected clip, we'll go back into the editing workspace and then we'll search for our keying effect. And the best keying effect to use in Premiere Pro is called the Ultra Key. Click and drag that to your footage and then go up into Effects Controls. Then scroll down. We can untwirl a Lumetri color, collapse it, and then under Ultra Key, there is an eyedropper tool next to Key Color. What you want to do is click that and click a solid color in your program monitor that is uh, very representative of the green color. In this case, there's not that many shadows or highlights, but I'll just click out here and you can see pretty much it does the work for you, but we can clean this up a little bit more. So next to Output, you can change it from Composite to Alpha Channel. And what you'll notice in the program monitor is it displays what's white as what it will keep in the frame and whatever is black is actually what's being keyed out or removed. So it's a good thing that we're seeing black there because it's meaning that, you know, the green in the background is being keyed out. Now we can clean this up by dropping down the matte generation and playing with these controls. We can turn up the transparency a little bit. You don't want to go too far as you can see as we go up a little bit, her face is starting to get keyed out. So we just want to leave it maybe around 50 or so. Then we can mess with the highlights. And you can see when we turn it up, we're adding the green back in. So you want to lower the value a little bit. We can probably turn it all the way down to zero. Don't really see any issues with that. Same with shadows. If you increase it, you're actually bringing shadows back in. And when you decrease it, you're removing it. So we'll just decrease it maybe around 10 or so. And what's really going to help is the pedestal value. This will really remove a lot of the noise. And honestly, I just cranked this thing up to 100. And you can see it's doing a pretty good job. There is a little bit of black here. I'll probably bring down the transparency a little bit. Maybe to 25 or so. That's looking pretty good. And if you want, you can go back to composite. That way you can actually see how it looks. And if we play this back, you can kind of see how the motion looks as well. Now you can feather the edges a little bit and that is under a matte cleanup. You can click down on the drop down arrow, maybe add a choke, maybe one pixel and change soften maybe two by two pixels. It'll feather it out by two pixels. And if the color correction is a little off, you can actually go down and desaturate it, saturate it and make fine tune adjustments depending, really depending how you color corrected your footage before. You know, if you increase the contrast a lot, you might want to go back and mess with these settings to kind of get back to the way that you want it to look. And an important note too, if you really need to go back into color correction, you can always add another Lumetri color effect on top of this footage and then really fine tune your color correction from there. So that's looking pretty good. And say if you didn't even have this background layer and you still wanted to see, you know, how does it look behind it? You can actually go to the wrench icon in the program monitor and choose transparency grid. 
This will display a grid underneath the subject. That way you can see that it is transparent and you at least have something underneath that you can judge. So that's one of the ways that you can remove green screen inside Premiere Pro. Now, if you're looking for other ways to remove the background from your video, a new app just came out within the last few years. It's called Runway ML. You can actually use it to really key out and rotoscope anything. If you want to check that out, I'll link one of the videos right up there. Feel free to go watch that. Otherwise, I hope this tutorial was helpful if you're inside Premiere Pro looking to remove green screen footage. Until next time, take care and happy video editing.